Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise, and we're about to take a look at a podcast called the Gemini Scorpio Podcast 064, where they're talking to these chicks who's talking about they would rather die than ask their baby daddy for help. It already sounds like foolishness. So, so I, and this is something I never do because I, Total again, services. I think we're kind of like yeah. this in the same way. As a single mom, yeah, I got this shit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got it. I ain't calling her dad. You can, yeah, you, you, I'll, I'll die starving on the road okay. before I call her dad. Facts. So I'm like, Facts. you know what? Facts. I'm all the way the up shit here. Ever. Say it again. Wait, 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 wait. That's the dumbest shit ever. Hey, Jay, let her rock out for a little bit. We go, we go, we go, we go digest that. We go digest that later. Let her rock out. Go finish the story. Okay. Story. I'm gonna die on the side of the road before I call your dad to okay, help. Because I'm gonna yeah, tell you it's kind of wild, but go ahead. Because when you've been going through that, I'm gonna let my sister tell. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let my sister tell. I'm gonna let my sister tell. Take this one. You've been holding that shit down from the start to the beginning, <laughs> and you've been setting and implementing every seed that that child has in them without the help of the other. I don't need to call you for nothing. So. What the hell are they talking about? I mean, put them sleep up and implement them. Blah, blah, blah. The seed came from him in order for you to even get pregnant. At least you admitted at the top of the hour or the top of this video as a single mom brag on that. Okay. So if there's something wrong on the side of the road and you got the kid and that's the person who could come and help you and you don't help, you don't call him in order to help. That's on you. Like I, I don't, honestly, at the end of the day, I don't care. Because you're hurting yourself at the end of the day and the kid. So if you want to be that selfish, be that selfish. Make it harder on yourself. Now, if your baby daddy ain't sugar honey iced tea, then he ain't sugar honey iced tea. But are you assuming that in advance or are you at least giving him the opportunity to do something and he has failed and that's the reason why you you won't call him? You know what I mean? So I can't say at this point that it's all on her. It does sound like a silly thing to say, but if she's called on him before and he hasn't been able to help out, I kind of understand and it makes sense. So, Period. I say I, respectfully, and that, respectfully. That, that actually gives me the value for my question. Okay, sure. Go ahead. I don't know the relationship between you mm -hmm. and her dad. So, okay. when you say I would die on the or side of the road, a group of y'all and how these dads operate. Cause it's not just us. Respect. Okay. Uh, no, it's, no. A, it's a large, large right. percentage. It's right. a large percentage of women who has to take on that whole package of course you know what i'm saying without the other party of my nah, so choice we love not doing what the fuck so no do. no you don't have to because you can from not all the time let me rephrase because nothing is a hundred percent and let's not act like there are not men out there quote unquote males who ain't sure honey iced tea let's not even bring it down to pookie and ray ray come on now let's call a spade a spade however looking at these two I can't say that I can see that they're very cooperative. It's too much of all this and all that. And he, and he, and he, and he. It's too much of that for me to think that they're so open in order to be accommodating and work with someone. And I don't know the dudes in this case. But what I will say is if I'm on the side of the road and I got the kid in the car and can nobody else come, and that's who the option is. That's who I'm calling because it's more important for us and her and the kid, the kid and me to be safe than to be being petty for no daggone reason. So, no, nah, no, no, that's not even joking like that. That's like, mad yeah. love for him. My mom's was a single mom. So I say that because when you, when you introduce dad, I'm assuming that he's in her life. So when you say yeah. that I would die on the it's side. It's always to a degree. See, I, I don't know that of, though. Because men get a lot of choices and I don't think we want to talk about that. But it's always to a degree. Okay. No. Because I agree with that too. This is a thing. This is a thing. If you're a parent, how are you going to tell me I can't this weekend, next weekend? <laughs> Cause parents don't do that. Fe Listen, I I'm not here to. to it's every weekend. I'm not. I'm not every three sixty five. Every Monday through Saturday, Sunday. I, it's it's every day, twenty four seven, three sixty five. It ain't no not this weekend. I can't. I'm gonna let y'all listen. So if that's what's going on, then I do agree that that's some BS. Okay. But if we're going to go, meaning ladies, to child support, and I know it's a it's a triggering term. But if you're going to go to child support and you're going to get the money, you can also put in a clear schedule too. That comes with the money. So this is the part that I don't understand from a lot of people that say, I give her this much money, I give her this much money, and I don't see my kid, and I don't see my kid, and I don't see my kid. That's a part of child support. 
Unless it's something I don't know where I'm at. Let me just say where I'm at. So it's every Wednesday or Tuesday and then every other weekend from Friday after school until Sunday at eight or something like that. But you can always go to the mediator and work that out. So here's the thing. If you do that, and not be spiteful, then he has his assigned time. So allow him to see his damn kid. So if you go ahead and you put that in place along with the money, then you have your time to figure out what you want to do on those weekends when you don't have the kid slash kids, right? Am I crazy? That comes as a part of it. So then that's that. But from what I see mostly, from what I mostly see is women who don't want the kid to go with the father. That might not be the case for what this woman is talking about. These women are talking about right here. But a lot of the time, it looks like you don't want them to go with their father. And that ain't right. That ain't going to work. And I still don't understand it. Because if they made the baby, they should take care of the baby. And if you file for child support, you should have a custody order, which says visitation as well. And then take the kid for visitation. And if he doesn't show up, then you can get him on contempt. I think it's called a visitation. And that's that. So it's not like there's no recourse here. Like we can't just be uh, being spiteful to people, not about these women right here, but we can't be all spiteful just because of the fact that the dude don't want us or he's moved on or whatever the case may be. And so now you want to go get all this child support and then you want to be difficult at all times. No, let him go. Let the kid go. Let that kid go. Give yourself a break. All I'm saying he's, he's is I changed. don't know the situation between yeah, y'all sure. relationship. Yeah, yeah. I can't speak on this man because yeah. I don't know him. And I yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm saying is when you it's said... It's not personal. It's not personal. It's just, <laughs> when you said, Unfortunately, it's generational. No, nah, you said it's not personal, but I'm sure it. the nigga that's watching this, that's the dad, is taking it very personal. Again, mm -hmm. and it might be his problem. However, mm -hmm. all I'm saying is when mm -hmm. I heard dad, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that he's in yeah. her life because you said dad. Yeah, now, yeah. when you say I would die on the side of the road before... Okay, so then that means that the dude is there doing what he's supposed to. So why don't you just get an order then? It sounds like they just want to drop the kid off whenever they want to, and that's not going to work. So if I'm going ahead, if, if I was a man, and I didn't already made plans for the weekend, and then you want to call me on Friday at 7 p.m. and say you need to take your kid, and I'm going to be like, well, no, I'm not. I got plans. And now you all upset and riled up and carrying on unnecessarily. Ma'am, get an order. If you have an order, that's it. That's all. Everybody knows. You know when to get her. You know when to get him. You know when to bring him back. You know when to bring her back. And everybody's happy. And then you all make your schedules around that child support schedule. And hopefully, I'm sorry, visitation schedule. And hopefully, if anyone needs um, a change, you can uh, work that out so that you could change weekends or something like that. Or adjust time frames, God forbid, if something happens. Like, you got to work together. You have to work together. No, you can't force anyone to do anything, but you also can't just pop up at the last minute and say, I need you to take the baby tonight. No, no, that's crazy. People have lives, people have plans, and it's not whenever you need it. You do it together. I call him to me. Mm -hmm. That's the dumbest thing in the world. There's no disrespect mm -hmm. to you. It's no, not no, personal. No. Yeah, and that's no, not no, personal no. because yeah. I just feel like if you have the support, why not? Okay, so realize that I was here right. and not able to you know yeah. fully think through yeah. be rational calm this is a good time to tag team mm. because team my partner yeah damn that's how it works guys ladies gentlemen anyone who can hear me that's the point of having that's one of the points of having children after you get married I can attest to what she's saying. It can happen to anyone. And unfortunately, when you're alone, that's when you have situations like the video with the crazy ass woman who's on World Star Hip Hop having her kid hold her hands in airplane mode and giving her weights because you have no one to tag team off of. If you're on 1000, that's when you pull up on, say to the uh, other, your other half, I can't do it. You got to take it over. That's why you need fathers. That's why you should be married before you have children. And then you partner, you work together. You can't do, you, you can do it, but you can't really do it as effectively if the dude lives all the way across town, 30 minutes away. And then you call him up and say, you gotta come get Teresa, little Teresa, cause she's driving me crazy. And I'm about to slap the shit out of her. And he's like, well, I can't get there. It's middle rush hour traffic for another hour. That, these, these are all the obstacles. These, these are the things that people need to start thinking through. Come on. Well, what are we already said our name? Jay, I said, call daddy right now. And this is one thing we do. Yeah. I like, I do call him daddy. He calls me mommy. 
So I said, call daddy right now. So she called daddy. As soon as he picked up, she's like, <laughs> I said, Mommy, drag me across the All right, baby, what the fuck you do? Mo <laughs> Mommy, she, 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 she. He said, put, put Jazz, get on the phone. <laughs> so he gets on the phone with me. He said, what happened? I told him what happened. He said, take a breath, which I appreciated because mm -hmm. I did need to calm down. Woosa. Mm -hmm. And he said, what happened? I told him what happened. And he said, you know, Y'all both in there, y'all both women. You're gonna get into this yes, little situation, yes. but take a breath. Ooh. Remember, she's still a child. She still is learning lessons. So like, let me talk. Me. Let me talk to her. So Did then I gave the phone. Names? Nobody, nobody said that. I mean, nope. oh my god! If the girl in the purple don't shut the f up, she's grating on my last nerve. This is not even your story. Shut up. Maybe he's a good father, so, maybe not a good nigga. As, 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 no, as, though, as, a few as, seconds as, away as, before no, y'all made it seem like. Hey, hey, hey I, I think I dropped the Sometimes it's perspective. I think I dropped the Sometimes it's perspective. Boy, wait, 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 All right, I'm going to shut it down because the girl in the purple is getting on my nerves. That's who you don't want to be your children's mother. But this what this one is saying, she makes sense. And it seems like the person, the father, is a decent person. And I think that, but the way that they said all this initially, like this guy is saying now, was that he wasn't sugar honey iced tea and it was a problem, this, that, and the third. So they presented it wrong. And that's half of the problem too, is that chicks be out here presenting a story that is not true making the dude look bad, and that's not even the case. You can tell by the fact that he's like, all right, let's go ahead and talk to your mom, first of all, because you can't understand what the kid is saying. So at least they have that relationship that they can speak. Awesome. They have the relationship where they call each other mommy and daddy. That's awesome. And then they can go ahead and he can calm her down. And it's true about females, uh, women and their female children. It's super hyper from the gate it's definitely stressful. I know. Been there, done that. It's on 10 at all times. They don't want to hear it. I don't be wanting to hear it. That's just how it goes. So at least she has someone who can help her, who's supportive. So what she needs to do is not be bringing this biatch into anything because it sounds like they have a good relationship. But I can see her getting in the middle of it and turning it into a thing. So good luck to this girl because I cannot listen to this one anymore. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing to everything. Everything is listed below and I will see you all in the next one.